Hey, good evening and welcome to Real Talk with Tamara. As you guys come into the room, please do hit the like button. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel. I hope that you guys are doing okay. I know that I am. I always express the importance of hitting the like button because the like button helps to keep the video on the algorithm, okay? So like, share, subscribe, comment, all of those great things, okay? I want to talk about uh, Yo Gotti and Black Youngster is radio silent since Straight Drop was sentenced, okay? The radio silence and straight drop was sentenced. Now, y'all know we always have to go back to the beginning because I have to have y'all to remember. Now, y'all know when all of this stuff happened um, in the beginning, it seems like so many different people was being recruited to torture and at least try and unalive young Dolph, right? And so if we go back to 2016, 2017, during that time, it was, um, uh, seems like to me, a plethora of people that hung around the CMG label. But Black Youngster was an up and coming rapper, just like Straight Drop wanted to be a up and coming rapper. And, um, you know, because y'all remember they said in the trial that Straight Drop was promised to be the next big thing off of CMG. Well, at that time, Black Youngster was signed and was, prom you know, and he was up and coming. And uh, for some reason, he started going at Young Dolph, right? And at first, it was, it seems like he was, you know, doing diss tracks and Young Dolph wouldn't address it. He said, you know, this ain't between us. This is between me and his boss. I don't have no issues with black youngster i don't even know it okay i like what he's doing or what he's trying to do but this ain't between us so i don't address him right and so then it turned into somewhat an obsession i don't know what black youngster was being told but then he started okay going at young dolph as if with a lot of vitriol as if you know young dolph had done something uh to him Y'all remember when he went over to the into the neighborhood? Where you at, dog? Where you at? Where you at, dog? I'm gonna see if I can insert that in here if I decide to edit the video. Okay, we y'all remember when they went over there to Castelia with all of those weapons, right? And so then he just turned into a lot of hate. You know, I don't know what he was being told, and I know it's a grown man, but it seemed like to me. He had to force himself to hate Young Dolph because it went from it being um, on wax to Black Youngster and them trying to do whatever to, you know, to try and take him out. Because remember now, they um, um, did the 100 shots in um, Charlotte, right? Remember, and with the 100 shots, they feel the the van up, of course, and um, the van was bulletproof. So they tried to take him out then. And, you know, remember Black Youngster? And um, I believe it was Antavius. Um, uh, I think his name was Antavius. Unfortunately, the young man lost his life this year um, on Danny Thomas in Memphis. But they were both going back and forth to court about this. And, you know, Black Youngster kind of told on himself, but he said, I don't know nothing. Somebody snitching. Okay, well, you just, then he says that in the same breath. I don't know nothing. Somebody snitching, try to make young Dolph look bad as if he's snitching, I guess, but all the time implicating himself. You know, some of these folks ain't got the sense God gave them. But, so then, you know, he was doing a lot of other stuff. Saying, you know, he gonna get, I mean, it just turned into he has to go from this earth. And he and Black Youngster had never had any problems, right? Um, the only thing that happened, because remember, then he was in L.A. They were in L.A. and they ended up some CMG affiliates. It was Black Youngster and two more CMG affiliates ended up shooting him. And he almost lost his life. And he ran into a um, store uh, that was connected to the hotel and asked them to, to call the ambulance and passed out, okay, passed out. So he almost lost his life. 
that came from CMG. So, um, you know, then there was another incident where an executive named Keon, he's an executive with CMG, even right to this day, he was given an executive position when he went to jail um, for uh, hitting that young dog, okay? Hitting that young dog. So he's serving time right now, unless he's out. I heard somebody say he was out, you know, I don't know. But he's he's served quite a bit of time since 20, um, I guess since 20, um, 15, 2016. So he was, you know, that, that situation too. So it seems like since, you know, um, now they were very vocal in the very beginning, you know, when um, Young Dolph was taken out. Because I remember Black Youngster posted when Young Dolph was taken out. They got this, they got this nigga at a cookie shop and then he deleted it. And so I don't know what he was doing, but according to his insurance agent, he was trying to get him to do some stuff with some cars and some stuff like that. But they placed him in Memphis, right? They placed him in Memphis and somebody even placed him on the scene of the crime after it happened, riding around the scene. You know, for some reason, when people are twisted, um, when they are involved in situations um, especially if they aren't alive, somebody they like to they always ride back through. Okay. Um, that's that's what they do when they're twisted, almost the mind of a serial killer. Um, they always watch, stand in the crowd, ride back around and see their work. And you know, they had some type of fetish wanted to see this man go because he was great. Now um, then when straight dropping and went on the run, you know, uh, Gotti was, you know, making all of those posts about my young nigga go to jail. I'm going to get him out. And, um, you know, he would, every time there was something that was going to come up, he made sure he let them know, don't make no new friends and stuff like that. No new friends. Don't talk. Just stuff like that. So he was he was very much involved. Every time there was something that was getting ready to come up as it relates to straight drop, he always um, would make a post. It's like he always got nervous, right? But since this stuff has been going on, you know, um, they've been radio silent, both of them. And I'm sure Art has told them, Art Horn, I like Art Horn. You know, that's their attorney. Very um, charming. I'm sure Art has told them not to say one word because um, I'm sure he has, he has, um, I'm almost positive that Juke know that knew that he was going to be indicted before um, he passed away. Hell, if I knew, if we knew, then I know he had to know, right? Which is really weird within itself. But I'm sure Art has told him not to say anything, I guess. You know, they've been radio silent. Um, I figured Gotti wouldn't say anything, but Black Youngster really has not said anything um, in almost two years, right? Black Youngster, who has always had a flamboyant personality, always, you know, wanted to troll. He did enough disrespectful stuff, and then he kind of retreated, right? I think they've been knowing something was coming for a long time now, Right. And so now neither one of them have said anything. See, I know they're fans of the show, both of them. You know, how y'all be doing today? Okay, so what's going to happen is they he'll post. See, I, I know how to bring them out. Okay, because every time I, I say something about them, they, they go and they, they'll do something. I say, you know, he ain't been letting Angela post no pictures. And the next hour, she'll be posting pictures, child. So I know how to bring them out. They're going to post something, okay? Uh, probably by mm, tomorrow, but you know, they got their notifications on, so they'll probably post something tonight as soon as I upload the video. Okay. But they've been radio silent. They've been radio silent, um, since straight drop was sentenced and 
the, like I said, we've talked about this before. The prosecutors did put it out there that there was going to, there is another investigation going on. And so I get to wondering, you know, when they wanted that man unalive, they just wanted him out the way. Look at all that has been lost. I know they didn't care about the little dudes that they were sending out, them losing their lives. There's been other little dudes to lose their lives that people don't even know that that was more than likely affiliated or, or not more than likely that was affiliated with a lot of this stuff, right? And I knew they wouldn't care anything about them, but since it's starting to touch close to home, I wonder, do they feel like it was worth it at this point, you know, to um, take this man out, okay? As I said before, did they think they was going to get to ride off into the sunset and not, um, and just be happy? That's That's not the laws of the earth. The laws of the earth is whatever man soweth, that's just what they're going to reap. They sowed those seeds of discord and they had an opportunity at some point to stop, right? When they was consistently trying to take him out, but they would not stop. They could not stand for him to be great. And people say, well, he was, dog was this and dog was only responding to what they was doing to him behind the scenes. Okay, that's exactly what was going on. He had a right. You work hard and somebody is being slick and blocking you behind the scenes. You would be angry, too. Okay, so that's exactly what he was doing. But they've been radio silent since Stray Drop was sentenced. And um, hey, it's going to be interesting to see. I mean, with all of this stuff going on now, I, you know, I be seeing Angela posting that they fly. They still flying all over the world. You know, we always been suspicious about this for a very long time, about them flying all over the world, right? About them flying all over the world. And, um, you know, because, you know, we just kind of think that when them, them indictments drop, he want to be out the country. We think that's what, what he want. He want to be him and he want to, you know, just go ahead, be out the country. Um, because um, he don't want to go to jail now. Young Dolph has been sentenced to his grave for life. And for some reason, these dudes who are supposed to be gangsters or whatever, um, they don't want to go to jail for life. Isn't it something? They want to take his life, but they want the little dudes to go and do the time, right? It's so funny because when Stray Drop was sentenced, J. Prince Jr., who um, really should just be too shamed to ever post anything considering what happened on his watch to take off, right? He's he posts Gotti, um, a song Gotti did about mob stuff. Rule number one, you don't mess with a um he started posting a video of Gotti, you know, when young when Stray Drop was sentenced. I felt like, you know, that was a subliminal. Okay. Um, it seemed like to me all of them had issues with Young Dolph because, see, they're in the business of taking taking advantage of artists. They was mad at Young Dolph because Young Dolph was in the business of trying to show artists that you don't need to sign all of these contracts. You don't need to be signed to three people, three, four people, whereas, you know, your money goes through three or four people before it even touch your pocket. See, a lot of them didn't like that because they want to take advantage of these artists, right? I'll say to the end, I, I think Yo Gotti had ambitions of ambitions of you know his label being um, everybody in the South basically being up under the umbrella of his label, and it's so unfortunate that they feel like Young Dolph, who um, was making money, that was doing his own thing, he wasn't willing to play their game, and so they decided they was going to take him out, and that's what they did. And so now they're radio silent because they await they await the day that they have to face the same um, fate, you know. That I guess you know, in a way, that the people that they hurt had to face. Young Dolph, his family can never see him again. But at least their children at some point, you know, they'll be able to see them behind the, behind the bars, get visitations and stuff in jail. So um, I think that's why they've been radio silent. But, you know, um, I believe, you know, nobody is really saying too much about Black Youngster, but Black Youngster is going to serve some time. 
um, Black youngster it was very well involved in, in what happened. And he didn't have to be. That's, that's what's so sad. He didn't have to be involved because it was not his fight. He didn't have no business having no issues with young Dolph. It was manufactured. And so they did to him, in essence, what they did to straight drop. Black youngster was trying to crash out. They just couldn't get young Dolph to die. Okay, because they was doing everything they could to take him out. Um, he just was surviving because he had a God on his side, right? Um, but when straight drop them, hit him, they was on their way to um, pop up um, a turkey drive to hit uh, hit his artist as well as innocent people. And they said they just happened to see him come across that light. You know, and a lot of people compare it to, you know, that song, Talking to My Scale, the songs, um, um, when he says, if I sacrifice myself, will I go to hell? You know, I don't know. I, You know, I don't know about that. The only thing I know is that what they did to him wasn't right. And so they caused all of this, as my grandma used to say, all of this ruckus. And now they're radio silent because they know them folks coming. They know they are near. And it's been put out into the atmosphere that they are near. It's been put out there in the atmosphere. They know it's coming. So, anyways, I just wanted to talk about that. You know, I just wanted to talk about that. Um, Your God in Black Youngster is radio silent since Stray Drop was not sentenced, but convicted. Since he's been convicted. But she did sentence him too, right? She did sentence him. Now, some people might say, well, you know, Black Youngster didn't post it. I hadn't seen him post I hadn't seen them get ready to. Okay, I don't, I don't see where he's posted. So I'm looking now. I don't see where he's posted anything. So, um, hey. Anyways, I just wanted to talk about that. You know, I just wanted to talk about that. I guess, like I said, we're, they know that we're in operation, um, operation. Um, drain the swamp, right? And so, Stray Drop has been um convicted and sentenced. Cornelius has to get his sentence in November. Who knows what's going on with Go Band? Something going on, and um, we'll see what the resolve is as it relates to that. And then, you know, and then the other thing that's going on. Because Paul Hagerman did say that there was an, uh, there were other investigations going on. So, you know, but hey, they have. They've been radio silent. The two, one, two, your God, it was more silent because he had everybody else doing his dirty work. But Black Youngster was really a radical. And for somebody like him to be as silent as he is now, that can only mean one thing. He probably scared of what's coming, right? When they should have been scared before they did it. For they participated okay but anyways you guys i just wanted to talk about that i want you guys to please like share and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel you could definitely support the channel via cash app 